Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five software engineer interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now let's get started. Question number one, describe the process you use to create a program from requirements to delivery. When the interviewer asks you to describe a process, they are seeking to understand how you go about doing your job. When preparing for these types of questions, you should review the job description to fully understand the position requirements and how the organization will expect you to do your job. You should also review the processes you currently use to ensure that they align with the role's requirements. Your answer should describe each step of the process in a sequential manner. Make sure to keep your response simple and to the point. The process I use to create a program begins with gaining a thorough understanding of the requirements for the application. Once I understand these, I create a flow diagram for how I believe the application should work. I then create code for each operation within the application. I submit the final program to the quality control team, which reviews and debugs the program. The final step is to get sign off from the users. Throughout the process, I document my work so that it can be replicated or updated if needed. Question number two, what process do you use to test and find bugs in an application you've developed? Your interviewer will likely ask a series of questions regarding your process because they seek to understand the steps you generally take in scenarios such as this one. As an experienced software engineer, you should be able to easily describe the procedures you use to test and debug the application you develop. Since this is an operational question, your answer should be direct and to the point. You should anticipate additional follow-up questions. Since I typically use the Agile or waterfall development processes, I test my application at various stages during the development process. This allows me to correct errors before they have greater implications later in the process. I use a variety of tools to test and debug the software. I also ask my peers to review my work during the development stage. Once the application is completed, I send it to the quality assurance team for final testing and debugging. Question number three, please describe a stack and the two operations it performs. When an interviewer asks you to describe something, you should immediately identify the question as being technical. When responding to a technical question, you first define the term or concept and then describe how it is used in the work you are performing. If the interviewer asks you a follow-up question, they are expressing a strong interest in this topic and indicating that it is important to their operations. This is a signal for you to expand on your answer and give them more details than you normally would. A stack is a data structure that has several distinct characteristics. Stacks use a last in first out process, organizing the data as last in first out. This differs from a queue, which processes data as first in first out. The two operations a stack performs are push, which is insertion of the data at the top of the stack, and pop, which is removal of the last item added to the stack. Question number four, what personal software development projects have you worked on outside of work? In addition to seeking candidates who have the skills and experience necessary to perform the job, hiring managers want to make sure the individual will fit into their organization. This is why they are likely to ask you about activities outside of the workspace and personal interests you may have. Your ability to contribute to the corporate culture is equally as important as your ability to do the job. You should have some stories about your personal life prepared just in case the interviewer asks about this. As odd as it sounds, I do enjoy programming and creating applications outside of work. I enjoy this because it allows me to test my skills and utilize new methods on applications I find interesting without the pressure of meeting a deadline or end user requirements. I recently created a program that allows me to control several different Wi-Fi LTE devices in my home from my phone. The app has features similar to Amazon Alexa or Google, but with a customized interface and more efficient code. Question number five, how would you go about explaining cloud computing to someone that doesn't have a technical background? The purpose of this question is to gain an understanding of your communication skills. Throughout the interview, the hiring manager will seek to understand some of the soft skills you have that pertain to this job. These include communication, teamwork, conflict resolution, and others. Every time you answer a question, you are being evaluated for both your experience and skills, as well as your ability to communicate. This question relates directly to this objective. 
The easiest way to understand the cloud is that it is just another computer, phone, or storage device which is located remotely. It is similar to your hard drive or the USB drives, except you access it via the internet instead of directly on your computer. The cloud can also host applications and execute them remotely. Again, this is similar to your computer, cell phone, or any other device you may use. Whenever you make a phone call, ask Google for information, or order something on Amazon, you are using the cloud. Thank you for watching. If you want more software engineer interview questions, then head over to mockquestions.com today and get started.